Today, we are gonna do another review of a company that manufactures hi-fi drivers for the DIY community. Now, if you can't tell, it's Tang Band. That's right, the lucky company that we're gonna be looking at today is Tang Band. Now just sit back and relax, and we will go ahead and get started right now. Now, Tang Band is a company that started business in 1996 in Taiwan. However, in 1999, they moved their manufacturing plant to China, but their headquarters are still in Taiwan. And during those past 20 plus years, they have been designing drivers, patenting technology, and even designing some innovative tech. That technology includes the sound modules, which are completely enclosed full range or even subwoofer modules with a passive radiator already tuned for you. Now these types of modules take the guesswork out of designing the box and it gives you the luxury of only having to deal with the aesthetics. They're fantastic drivers for beginners or those looking to save a little bit of space. Now another way for them to show their innovation is through the materials they use. In fact, here's a four inch full range driver made with a bamboo cone. They're the only manufacturer that I can think of that make a bamboo cone driver. So now that you have a little bit of background, let me show you some of the Tang Band drivers that I have on hand and talk to you about my experience with them. First up is the W5 1138 SMF. For those who watch my channel, it doesn't need any introduction. This is probably one of my favorite small subwoofers of all time. It uses a relatively small box. It can output powerful bass past what it should be able to. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone that has built the Dynas or just go talk to Joe and tell. They have ridiculous bass. Then you take a look at this W8-2096 mid-bass driver. Keep in mind, this is a mid-bass driver. It is underhung design and has an X-Max of eight and a half millimeters. That is better than some subwoofers. It is just crazy to think about. And this thing can hit down really low, 35 hertz, with an attainable box and attainable port. And the six inch version of this does the exact same thing. So you can start to see that Tang Band is well known for their bass. In fact, it is one of the reasons why I love their drivers. You see, they typically will give you a generous amount of X-Max, which makes them have usable bass. Now, some drivers may tune really low, but they're limited by their mechanical limitations of the drivers. These typically are not. On top of that, the drivers we've mentioned all can easily be put into moderate sized boxes with a moderate sized port. So no having to take up the whole house just to get that extension that you really want. These factors make them great candidates for home theater where not only bass is a must, but also the dynamics of the speaker. And that is really where these types of drivers can excel. In fact, I want you to stay tuned to the channel because we're gonna design some home theater speakers using those W8 and W6 drivers I just showed you. So make sure that you're subscribed to be able to see that. I do not want to sell Tang Band short. Tang Band actually sent me two pair of drivers that were full range for me to test. They sent me a small pair of three inch and a small pair of four inch. And even though I'd used a lot of Tang Band products, I'd never used their full range products. It's just crazy to think about. So I built this sound bar, which will be featured actually in another upcoming video. It uses two of the four inch bamboo full range drivers, also a first time using bamboo and a W5-1138 SMF subwoofer tuned to 35 Hertz. Now, typically most full range drivers, they do really well in the mid range, but really struggle with high frequency. So it's not uncommon to see people using a tweeter to help out the high end. Heck, I even did that with the Dynas. But these particular drivers, man, they didn't need help at all. Now it's important to understand that even though they do a great job on high frequency, they can struggle on the low end. However, a transmission line can extend that low end for you. And I can actually see why these are some of the favorites among designers who specialize in transmission lines. So where do I see Tang Band speakers excelling? Home theater, definitely. Transmission lines, yes. Small portable boom boxes, of course. I mean, honestly, they make just a good quality speaker all around. In fact, out of all the W5-1138 SMS subwoofers I've used, and I've used a lot, I've yet to have a premature failure or one that has been tested drastically different. So in my experience, the quality control is pretty spot on. Now, if you want any more information about Tang Band, I invite you to go check out their website. And don't forget to check out Parts Express as well. All of these speakers that you're seeing here can be bought right from them. Now, if you do want to be in the know before everyone else, go ahead and become a patron. And if you want to be in the know before even YouTube, join my new DIY audio forum. 
We provide a safe environment for you to ask the questions that you've always wanted to, but you just were afraid to do it. And you can share your projects and even sell them if you want to on there. So we would love to have you. Now this is 123Toyed, and I'm out. They're huge! Uh, are we rolling?